Hey everyone, I am back to talk to you about March's polish pickup already. I feel like I just talked about February's and we're back again to talk about March. Um, the theme for March's polish pickup is Slumber Party and there's some really, really cute polishes this month. The makers did a great job. There's a lot of like just cute, you know, nostalgic or, you know, just really cute Slumber Party inspired polishes and I have quite a few to show you this month. Um, if this is your first time shopping through Polish Pickup, this is how Polish Pickup works. Um, it's through polishpickup.com which I will link below and Polish Pickup is a monthly collab, is a collab, it's like a shop that opens and a whole bunch of indie makers participate and every month there is a theme and the theme is voted on like two months in advance two months in advance and so um it's very windy at my house if you heard that <laughs> so the theme this month is slumber party and the makers abide by the theme and they kind of use whatever they're feeling to interpret that so you'll see i actually have a skyrim polish this month which, I mean, you can put video games at a slumber party, but um, it's inspired by like waking up in Skyrim. So that first opening line, and then there's a lot of the more traditional stuff or like slumber parties from when you're, you know, younger and whatnot. But um, so Polish Pickup itself is a monthly shop that opens a bunch of different indie makers participate. It is open for the first weekend of the month. This weekend is March 1st through the 4th. So that's Friday through Monday, it opens at 11 a.m. on Friday and closes on 11 a.m. Eastern on Friday and closes on Monday evening. So oftentimes with polish pickup, polishes are capped, which means that there will only be like a handful of, of bottles. Um, some of the ones that I'm going to swatch today are capped. So you'll see I'll, when I'm swatching them, I'll let you know. So I'll say, hey, this is capped at, you know, 400 bottles. That means there are 400 bottles. So if you really, really want something, you kind of want to be there when shop opens because there's a chance it could sell out before the weekend ends. So that's kind of polish pickup in a nutshell. Aside from polishes, um, makers also have like monthly scented cuticle oils or bath products or tchotchkes or you know there's also really cool stuff like glass files and really cool magnets and all kinds of nail and self-care related things so that is uh, polish pickup in a nutshell and then yeah from there after polish pickup closes it's usually like a three-week turnaround time to make sure they have everything you'll get everything kind of the following month so if you're shopping in March, March 1st, you know, for polish pickup, you're probably going to get those polishes in April-ish at some point. They're very communicative. And if you go on the website, you will see that it, it it's all, all of those details are there about the turnaround time and whatnot. So without further ado, we'll just get to the swatches. This is Dream A Little Dream. It is super gorgeous, it looks like. A little, it was really surprising when I put it on the nail, but this is back to Cuticula, and she makes some lovely flaky polishes. So this is like a red-violet base, and it has these like large particle shifting shimmers on it. So you can see that violet that kind of comes through on that first coat, and it builds really nicely. I only wore it in two coats over my natural nails. So it has a red violet base and it has red to orange to gold and green large particle shifting shimmers on it. And you can see here, you can see the violet really pop through and then same, of course, in the natural light. It's super vibrant in person and super gorgeous. Next up, we have one of my favorites. This is a solar nail polish by Kathleen and Co. And I love solars. They're so freaking cool. Um, this polish is capped at 400 bottles, and um, it's ca it's called I Want My MTV, and it's inspired by um, an old school like graphic of the MTV logo. So this is a peachy solar, and so indoors, outside of the UV, it's this really pretty peachy color that has this pink to gold shifting shimmer in it, and it builds really, really nicely. I just swatched it in two coats. 
over this nail, but for my swatch pictures, I did do three. You might want a little bit of a blurring base. You'll see it's that really pretty peachy color in the shade, and then when you bring it into the sun, it has this deep purple color, so you can see it kind of shifts to that, even if I'm not in direct sunlight. And then this beauty is Blind Man's Bluff by Atomic Polish. I, I love Atomic Polish. Their formula is to die for. And there is no cap on this polish. And Blind Man's Bluff is, I mean, maybe you haven't, maybe you have. It's a game that you can play during slumber parties. And this is like a smoky gray based polish and it has Aurora pigment and the pigment, the Aurora shifts from pink to red to orange. And I did um, two coats just for my swatches as per usual and I did end up doing three on my nails here. You can see a little bit of visible nail line but not too bad and it's just such a stunner. I feel like the orange and pink really show through on this one. Next up, <laughs> we have your finally awake bees knees lacquer, and I love the inspo behind this one. I love the name so much. So this is inspired by Skyrim. If you've ever played it, the opening line from this game is "You're finally awake," as you're kind of uh, riding on a wagon, mm, very executed, but uh, you know, and then things happen, and it's Skyrim. So. Um, on the first coat of this polish, it's technically a stormy gray base with a really strong blue shimmer. Um, I only did two for these swatches. It's pretty sheer, but it builds really nicely. Um, and it's, I did three coats on my natural nails. And you can see it actually has a really glowy blue shimmer on it as well. So you can see, just kind of trying to get some different lighting angles here, like how dark it can be. This is one of my favorites. And of course, the inspo. So next is Friday Night by Ethereal Lacquer. And this polish is so freaking cute. I can't stand it. There's there's a lot of pinks with the blue shimmer. And this is definitely one of my favorites that I've put on. Um, I Sometimes pinks are a hard color for me. I Sometimes they're just not really flattering. This one is. I, I feel like it's been gorgeous on every person that I've seen it on. Um, so this is a cool bubblegum pink with, with a blue shimmer and it's inspired by like, you know, the skating rink and all those fun like sleepovers that you would do every Friday night with your friends in school. And you can see this is three coats over my natural nails in the sunlight and I love it. So then we next have Take One Fortune Card by BCB Lacquer, inspired by the game Girl Talk, which, uh, and just look it up, you can see uh, BCB, as per usual, killed it with the inspo. And this um, this polish is capped at 400 bottles. So um, this is another one that is capped. If you wanted to get it, make sure you get it, you know, in case it sells out. But this is a very cute like lilac crelly and it has pink, orange, and gold flakies as well as green, blue, and purple flakies and like blue metallic flakes as well, which I absolutely love. And this is two coats over my natural nails, my super long nails. Um, I love, love, love BCB Lacquer's formula. So this is definitely a super cute polish that I'm in love with. And then we have Chibi Chibi by Phoenix. Indie and I deeply, deeply love Phoenix Indie. It's such a joy to swatch for them. Um, this polish is capped at 500 bottles, and uh, I know that it's pretty popular and it very well may go. This is inspired by Usagi and Chibi Chibi and <laughs> all of like the, just the best Sailor Moon trio doing what they do best, which is sleep. So um, Chibi Chibi is a, like a really, really sparkly pink tinted base and it has a bunch of iridescent aurora shimmer and this is three coats over my natural nails this color is incredibly shifty i really didn't have a ton of sun this day but you can see it shifts like from that blue and you know pink to green and all of that fun stuff and then we have snick snack by swamp gloss and this one is probably my favorite name or at least my favorite polish to say so it's inspired by like Nick at Night, the Midnight Society, um, from Are You Afraid of the Dark, and Snacks, of course, so Snick Snack. This polish is also capped at 400 bottles, and it's glow in the dark. So, you know, in, in the day, this is a bright aqua blue jelly base, 
and it has these large iridescent shifting flakes and it has banana yellow hexes. You can see how chunky these flakes are. And this is three coats that Aqua really shows through. I love the little pops of yellow too. Three coats over my natural nails and then of course you gotta get the glow in because it's swamp gloss and it's Nick at night. So that's everything that I have this month for Polish Pickup. If you have any questions about how Polish Pickup works or if you have any questions about any of the specific polishes that I swatched, feel free to just shoot me a message or add a comment or anything like that. I will link everything below descriptions and all of that fun stuff and if there's a cap and then i'll see you next week